is a Maypole braiding machine made by the New England Butt Company of Providence, Rhode Island. It's a model number two and dates from about 1920. Maypole braiders get their name from the motion of the thread carriers, which move in a zigzag path, just like that of dancers wrapping ribbons around a maypole. On this braider, there are two groups of eight carriers going in opposite directions. It's making a round braid around a core. There are many different models of braiders with different number of carriers and different track patterns. If a braider has an odd number of carriers, it will make a flat braid, such as sutash. Braiders are also used to make heavy ropes, such as climbing ropes. The advantage of braiding over twisting is that it will not unravel and it's resistant to abrasion. The first braider was patented in Manchester, England in 1748. They were originally designed to make trims for military uniforms, millinery tapes, and other decorative functions. Braids were used to lace outer garments and secure undergarments. Remember that this was before the age of zippers, snaps, and even widespread use of buttons. The New England Butt Company began making braiding machines in the 1860s for making the cotton braid that covered the wire hoops of crinoline. By the 1880s, they were making machines to produce shoelaces, candle wick, and clothesline. A large part of their later business was making machines to braid electrical wiring harnesses. The New England Butt Company was eventually acquired in 1987 by the Wardwell Braiding Company in Central Falls, Rhode Island. <laughs>